So, season two of the Halo show premiered at CCXP, and I have some thoughts and opinions. Also, it looks like we can't really post anything from the trailer and stuff because people are getting copyright strikes and stuff. So I'm not going to deal with that. I do not care enough to get in trouble with YouTube and Paramount or CBS or whoever is doing that. So we're just going to have gameplay in the background and we're going to talk about my feelings and kind of the sentiment that I've seen around the community. But before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you to everyone who's been supporting the channel. We are grinding away towards 15,000 subscribers and that just doesn't feel like a real number to me. But I know 90% of you who watch the videos aren't subscribed, so if a couple of you hit that subscribe button, we would hit it super easy. All right, let's get back into the video. So apparently, Season 2 takes place six months after the end of Season 1, and everything looks like the world is pretty much falling apart for humanity, as the Covenant War is basically raging, and pretty much planet after planet is succumbing to the elites and the prophets. It also seems like there are different people in charge of the show. It definitely feels a little bit different in the trailer. I believe there's like a new showrunner, director kind of guy. But we'll see if they honor what the Halo games are. I do know that the first shot of the trailer shows Chief's face, and a lot of people aren't happy about that. I get it. But I think they only show his face twice, and the rest of the time he has his helmet on, so hopefully they took that to heart and won't really show him all that much. And they've explained to, you know, Pablo that it's important that you have your helmet on. But really, it just feels more, I don't know, the, the production value, I feel like, is a lot better. The CGI and stuff, we see, like, the ships coming out of the clouds, which is one of the coolest scenes I've seen for the Halo show. There's a lot of new characters. James Ackerson is actually going to be in the show if you know him from the novel, such as The Fall of Reach and Ghost of Onyx. He's a pretty badass dude. And I think him and Halsey always have, like, issues. I'm really intrigued to see The Fall of Reach and, like, just seeing the Covenant glass the planet and stuff just looks sick to me. I think they did a really good job with that. I hope that there's, like, a mention of Noble Team in any capacity. I feel like you can't really do the fall of Reach, even though this is like in a different timeline, universe, or whatever you want to call it. Like, if you don't have Noble Team in there in some capacity, I would be super sad. Also, it looks like Halsey is like a cult leader at one point in the trailer. It's very weird. I don't know what they're going to do with her. They're like standing around a bonfire. I don't know. Like I said, the scene with the elite just like chopping up Marines and stuff looks sick. You see Chief fighting other elites. Maybe the Arbiter. I think it's very important that we get some type of Arbiter in this show. A lot of people have been complaining about the change to Cortana's model. And, you know, it kind of looks like the weapon. But also, I wonder, I cannot remember the name of Cortana's, like, sister AI. But that would be kind of a cool throwback because you don't ever see that character in the games. But I've seen a lot of people like, why did they do this and stuff? So, benefit of the doubt, we'll see what happens. I do wonder if, like, all the strikes and stuff had anything to do with this show, and if that's, like, a reason why it's a different model. Who knows? We also get to see a Halo ring, you know, at the end of the trailer. It would be very cool to see. I hope that's not, like, the end of Season 2, you know, and that's what we see, and he doesn't, you know, actually go to the ring yet. Um, and then hearing the Monk Halo chant at the end, you know, actually hearing real Halo music was nice. All right, so my overall thoughts for this is that... You know, with season one, I was not blown away. I didn't even finish season one. I won't lie. I ended up just watching, like, reviews from people because I was just that disinterested in it. It did not jive with me, which stinks. And when they showed this trailer off, it was also when they showed, like, Game of Thrones, Fallout, The Boys. It was up against some heavy hitters, and the Fallout uh, trailer was really good, but um, I'm interested to see if that show is going to be comedy focus because i don't know if this is a hot take but when i think of fallout i feel like it's kind of a comedy it, there's like silly funny parts and if the the show was just like i don't know walking dead apocalypse future then i don't know it, it's not gonna jive that much with me either but game of thrones and stuff looked great but like i said i i hope that season two is better with the huge time jump i mean six months is a long time to just fast forward in a television show especially after season two but maybe that's kind of how they're doing the reboot of it i would not get my hopes up that it's going to follow the game story you know word for word just because it is its own timeline and stuff and i just can't imagine that they would just throw that away right now but i do feel like it's going to be closer to the source material i think all the action scenes look great so here's hoping that it's like a seven if the show is a seven out of ten i feel like that's a huge 
huge upgrade, and then it's something that they can build on going forward. Now, I know you all have probably already wrote your opinions about the show down below, and I'm sure a lot of you are not happy, excited, or anything because of season one, and that's fine. I get it. But let me know if any of you are actually looking forward to this. I'm actually intrigued. I'm definitely going to give it a watch. I have Paramount already, so it's not like I'm going to pay extra or anything like that. But yeah, here's hoping to a 7 out of 10. That's going to do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, and I'll catch you around the ring. Peace!